Yeah, thank you very much for uh, the, uh, the management team have sent out Josh Galding to, uh, <laughs> to the, uh, the interview from the management today. Do I take it then, Josh, that, that, that perhaps the management team of Mr. Crichton and Mr. Ward are, are, are still having a little bit of steam coming out in the years? Yeah, I mean, they're not happy with the performance. Obviously, we've been four games and beaten, and the, lad, the lads have been going wow. So, obviously, coming into that today, we didn't really perform, so they're not best pleased, to be honest. The pitch itself didn't help. It was a great effort from the ground staff to get it on, but we, we look across it now, and, and as you say, really, there's... There's no grass. There's a, there's a lot of mud. Yeah, I mean, obviously I know the groundsman, and you know he's a great guy, and you know he he's got to work with what he's got to work with. To be honest, but if I'm honest, that's probably the worst pitch in the league, quite country mile. I haven't played on a worse pitch this season so far, so it doesn't help. A lot of money was spent on the drainage though in the in the summer, wasn't it? You know, perhaps disappointing that, that it, it's turned out this way. Well, it doesn't appear like it's draining, to be honest. So <laughs> I'm not really sure about that, but it's just frustrating because obviously we want to play football and. You know, we go away from home, we went to Grimsby, we went to Forest Green and, you know, the pitch are better and we play good football and, you know, we get the results. So it's disappointing to come home and have a pitch like this and not be able to play, you know, the football that, you know, people expect us to. That's it, isn't it? You know, I would say it would certainly favoured Southport style of play more so than Harry. Yeah, I think they're quite direct and, you know, maybe the pitch has kind of played into their strengths where we can really get the ball down and play. But to be honest, taking the pitch aside, you know, the pitch doesn't, you know, they played on the pitch, they scored a goal, we didn't. So, you know, we've got to look at that at that way and, you know, we just didn't perform at all today, so it's just not acceptable. Two games against Southport this season, we've followed the similar pattern on both games. Yeah, they're a bit of a bogey team, I think, to be honest. I played in one of them as well. Yeah, they're a tough, tough side, they're battling down there and, you know, you, when, when you play against, you know, scouts teams, they always put themselves about a bit and, you know, they work hard and, you know, we understand that, but, you know, we just didn't match their intensity today and that's, that was the disappointing thing. No Verm and no Gittings from the side that beat uh, Forest Green, what was wrong with them? Yeah, Verm's um, had a problem with his back and Gitter had a problem with his calf, so obviously, you know, it's not going to, you know, on, on that pitch as well, it just wasn't good for them and, you know, they haven't trained as well, so, you know, the gaff had to make a decision, but Luke Maxwell come in and, you know, for his, for his debut, he was, he was fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say, for a lot from, uh, from the academy, he certainly, uh, certainly uh, didn't disgrace himself out there, but in some good challenges against what is an experienced Southport midfield. Yeah, I mean, he played um, uh, a week or so ago in, the, in, in a reserve game at Nottingham Forest and he did well. And, you know, we've been watching him training and, you know, Kennedy's a, another lad that's coming through. And, you know, they've got, you know, we've got some prospects coming through. So, you know, they deserve their chance. You know, when you've got injuries, that's when they, you, someone has to step up and, and, and take their chance. And I think he did that today. Uh, the news on Josh going then, are you going to be uh, fighting for a starting place against Forest Green on? No, I mean, we, we um, it was actually probably the pitch that just went through, to be honest, but no, um, we were worried that I did my ACL, um, which would have put me out of a very long time, but um, luckily, after the scan, I'd stressed my ACL, but I've done uh, my medial uh, ligament, so I've got a grade two tear in that, so, you know, they said four to six weeks, so we'll be looking at me being out, but... Um, I'll be back quicker than that. I'll be back quicker than that. Quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to think so, obviously, on the, the Harriers fans would as well. But uh, Josh, you go into the game now, the, the return leg against Forest Green on, on New Year's Day. 3 2 victory down there, hard fought performance. Possibly, as well, people would say, that Forest Green may have deserved to, to have got something out of that game as well for the effort they put in. On, on this type of pitch, it's not going to be good for either side, is it? No, I mean, to be fair to them, they had some good chances you know, at their place, but you know they're going to come here, they like to play football, they like to pass out at the back, so for us, we just got to get in their faces. You know, If they're going to play, there's going to be mistakes. You know, we, Two teams that play football on this pitch, there's going to be mistakes, so we've just got to make sure we capitalise on those mistakes and, and get a result. Well, it brings uh, 2014 to a, a, the calendar year to an end with a, with a defeat. It's a little yeah. bit disappointing, the fact that you know, in terms of you know, a victory or, or at least a point today, I would have been in the playoff position. Yeah, I think for us, we're disappointed and the gaffer touched on it in there. You know, whenever we've just got near the playoffs and we've, we've looked to get in there, we've faltered a little bit. So it's disappoint that's disappointing for us. You know, we, we've not quite took that step and, and got ourselves in there, got ourselves in a good position. So we've just got to do better 2015. <laughs> Simple as that. Josh, thanks very much for, no for joining us. Thanks a lot.